There's 11,000 people in here. There's 11,000 fucking people in here. What's good, YouTube fam? It's your girl, China Ahu Party, coming to you live. We got the dark aftermath of TikTok fame. This is posted by Jamari, let's get right into it. So around a year ago, a huge trend hit the internet and the NPC TikTokers were born. I'll get up and Nancy give you 360 for a galaxy. <laughs> Think about ice cream. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Fire, fire. I'm a fat cow. So these people basically go on TikTok live and react to all the different donation emojis that people are sending in. They have these quote-unquote pre-programmed reactions to the different symbols, and that's how they bait people into donating. Actually, that is essentially the entire point of the show. Oh my gosh. When I saw these videos, these types of lives trending, I was like, what is going on? Kids these days are watching this. It is wild to me <laughs> that they find this type of stuff entertaining. Like, what age groups are they entertaining? I don't even think I would find this entertaining at six years old. Ten, definitely not. I would think somebody is weird making all these faces, licking the goddamn camera. What are you doing? I would have been creeped out. I'm creeped out now by it, honestly. But that is so weird. That that stuff has got to stop. Would sit around watching this stuff all day. I really do not know. And while I do generally detest this activity, I do have to hand it to the person who came up with the idea because they did indeed find the infinite money glitch. Or at least so they thought. Don't get me wrong, a few of these people like Pinky Doll are still going strong, raking in tens of thousands of dollars a month and continuing to do their TikTok thing. I actually tuned into her live stream today, you know, to do some research, and this is the masterpiece that I witnessed. Hey, yo. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. Listen, that, man. Nah, you nah, are nah, nah, volume. For her, I think it really helps that she has detoured into other types of content successfully, you know, so she doesn't lose her mind. But for others, things are not exactly going to plan. <laughs> you know what? If I was her, that girl that was just singing, honestly, I would be laughing my ass off off camera. I <laughs> I'm gonna be talking to my girl. Hey, look, look at what I did. Look at this shit I just did. And look how much money I made. Look at this stupid shit. And doing this every day, I could definitely see somebody going crazy. They're not working their brain. They're reacting based off of symbols, not talking much. Like doing this hours on, because people tend to stream for hours. Doing it every day, oh, your brain will be mush eventually. <laughs> like, what are you can't even complete a full sentence. And it seems that months of acting as a TikTok NPC is really starting to catch up to some of these individuals from a psychological standpoint. Today we'll specifically be narrowing in on a guy who dresses up as Spider-Man, more specifically Miles Morales, who has gotten quite popular. Just picture the loading screen in an old Spider-Man game or DVD set, and that's exactly what he does. What's going on, man? Hey, it's me, Miles. All right. Uh... I don't think I should use that right now. That sounds pretty dangerous. Those smell amazing. Thanks. What, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Could have been records, man. That show was hilarious. He went to audition in that character. Could have been records. I'm not surprised, actually. He has different types of people on there, but I thought it was for, for people who made music. Spider-Man doesn't make music, and I didn't realize it was from St. Pete, Florida. Good Lord. Why does it always have to be Floridians, y'all? I'm from Florida, so I can say that. Everybody else talks crap about Florida, too, so I guess y'all free to talk. God damn it, another Floridian. Jeez, come on. We gotta represent a little better out here. And recently, this Miles Morales has been crashing out a whole lot. There's 11,000 people in here. There's 11,000 fucking people in here, and you guys are not tapping the screen. Okay, make sure that you're tapping the screen. There's 11,000 people in here. There's 11,000 fucking people in here, okay? Tap the goddamn screen, okay? Tap the goddamn screen. Okay, you see this button right here? Press the fucking button, okay? Press the fucking button. Why is he sweating like this? Like, is he on something? Is he drinking too much coffee? Not taking care of his body? I assume he's not. Like, yo, it looks like it's late out there. He probably does a lot during the day, so doing this at night, you know, you gotta make time, and this doesn't look healthy. He doesn't look healthy. Thanks, Safala. You guys are amazing. <laughs> to see him go from being so frustrated and mad over people not donating and liking his stream to going right back into the NPC character, 
is honestly just kind of sad to see. I mean, imagine doing any of this for a year straight, and I think it would be enough to drive any man crazy. Just stop, please. Like, I'm not joking, bro. I'm not joking, bro. So sadly, it appears that this guy really is in a bad place. You know, this whole situation is probably a dream for anyone who doesn't want to work a regular 9 to 5. And the prospect of making tens of thousands of dollars just to do something as simple as this probably sounds great on paper. But I just feel like at this point, this man absolutely dreads the time of the day where he's supposed to go live. I want to go home. I want to go to sleep. 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 I wanna go to sleep, I wanna go to sleep. I wanna go to sleep, I wanna go to sleep. I wanna go to bed. Spider-Man's been protecting the city for a long time. I think it's about time for me to go home. I try to be respectful, but you guys are really starting to piss me off. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't I shouldn't be laughing, but oh, this boy is losing it. I'm sorry. Oh, this isn't kid friendly. It doesn't sound like it. He just said they're pissing him off and he just dropped the F bomb. Boy, if if these are kids, but usually kids don't have money to to pay for stickers or the donations. So I'm concerned. What age group is watching this type of content? And my man's, he needs a break I, from any job. People tend to need a break. You know, you have to relax your mind. You have to step away every now and then so you don't go insane. And he seems like he, he doesn't do that. Listen, all I know is this man always looks sweaty and tired as fuck. And I do think for him, it really does not help that he's constantly filming in the streets of New York City. Like, I get that it's part of the bit. Like, at least for a lot of these people, they get to do this shit in the comfort of their own home. And I do feel like him having to do this out in public really just adds a whole nother layer of bullshit. I mean, I also saw this clip where the police were giving him a pretty hard time. He was supposed to Sir, teach me everything, you know. You're being trespassed. I'm being trespassed? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you want to take my name? Yes, please. Cool. Do you have an ID on you? Yeah, I'm ID. Where'd you guys? Where's my bat? Uh, it's over here for our safety. <laughs> it's over here for our safety. Look, they saw this man from afar. They saw that this boy was just bouncing back and forth in front of a goddamn camera. You can only imagine how crazy that looks from a bystander's perspective. I would be taking that bat too because this kid looks crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use my lightsaber. You shouldn't touch my stuff, man. Hey, you guys. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. <laughs> and it seems like he's constantly dealing with annoying outside influences on stream. Like most recently when he apparently got robbed on TikTok Live. You won. You won. You won. As you guys know, last night, I got f***ing robbed. F***ing robbed. I'm gonna try to do this in one take because I'm really angry right now. I'm, I'm really f***ing it seems like the same type of niggas that are supposed to support you, bro, don't fucking support you, bro. It be your own fucking people, bro. Your own fucking people fucking with you, bro. I mean, yeah, like I said, him going out in public where people can clearly see his backgrounds, okay, a lot of people are going to be able to pinpoint his location in a place as popular as New York is a total detriment to not only his mental health, but also a huge safety risk. And I know a lot of people out there will probably just say, oh, you know, he should just quit. He should just go get a normal job. And I just don't think those people really see how vicious of a cycle doing anything on the internet for a living can actually be for a person and how scary it can be to step away from this type of opportunity, even though a lot of people probably think it's dumb what he's doing. The man has obviously made a lot of money doing it. Yep, that is very true. You can't speak for somebody and say what they should and shouldn't do if you've never been in their shoes. I, I wouldn't know what to do in the situation, honestly. I would never say quit something, especially if it's been successful for you. Maybe just modify it. Do a few things differently. Instead of being out in the city, outside, do some shit at home. Get you a green screen. I mean, there are different ways to do this. Why does he have to go out? And then it would save much more money, save time. Just do it at home. I know people are going to say don't do it at all because it's just weird. But if he wants to continue his hustle, then just do it at home. Be safe. And I'm really trying not to dislike certain types of people, bro. I'm really trying not to, bro. But literally, I cannot do this shit no more, bro. I'm trying to be the best streamer for you guys, bro. My dream is to be one of the best content creators. Do YouTube, do Twitch, do any, all this shit, right? And I can't do that when you guys are 
wrong with me every fucking time I go fucking live, bro. I mean, that's also the curse of becoming more and more popular, is there's obviously this increased chance of people trying to fuck your shit up. And it's probably extra hard for someone like this because I feel like he is likely on the precipice of gaining enough wealth from this venture to where he doesn't even think about other jobs or alternate routes his life could go. But maybe he's not quite making enough money where the ends always justify the means. Like I saw this interview with him where he was talking about how women NPC TikTokers apparently make a lot more money. They get a lot more donations. If you're a guy doing it, you make significantly less money. So if you hear like a lot of crazy numbers... Um, from these girls. Well, you know why. Um, but yeah, I'm a guy, so I'm, I make a little bit less, but you know, it's still decent. It's still enough to like, yeah. where I don't, I, I probably don't need to work a regular job. Honestly, he sounds pretty smart and I'm not surprised because it looks like he works solo. And typically if you can create a new stream of income, use equipment, you have to learn how to use the equipment first to record, you know, uh, break a video down, edit it if he ever does edit but also gain an audience and keep their attention and make money on top of that, you have to have some smarts to be able to do that by yourself. At least at that time, you know, he was hard pressed to crack four or $5,000 a month, which obviously in New York City, that's not gonna go very far. And of course there's rumors out there that he's making like $20,000 a stream. You know, those people are always full of shit. I don't know what I'm doing to get all this hate. I'm just trying to be the best streamer, bro. I fuck with y'all that help me, man. But I don't think I can take this shit, nigga. I mean, yeah, you really have to feel for the guy. He's obviously wearing his heart on his sleeve here. And I have to think that this is very similar to the life of damn near any street performer. You know, like when you go to New Orleans or Las Vegas or any other major city. I just get the feeling that those guys have always lived pretty hard lives. And there's obviously a lot of bad shit that can happen to you out there. Becoming the greatest streamer ever doing that type of content, I highly doubt that would happen. I mean, he does have potential, though. He's gained an audience. You know, he can venture off a little bit, explore different ideas, and maybe become an awesome streamer. But, um, yeah, that stuff has got to stop. He needs to take a break from that. It's driving him crazy, as you can tell. The man is sweating, sweating. I wonder why. <laughs> but that content is very creepy in general. I, I hope it's just canceled in whole. Kids watching that, I can only imagine. Like, they need to read a book. Exercise your brain. Go draw. Do something. Go play outside instead of watching that because that stuff is so weird. Anyways, we're going to stop it right there. If you want to watch the rest of the video, go to Jamari's channel. And if you like this content, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below. And until next time, I'm China. Ahu Party. I'm out.